I would never do that. <clears throat> so what are you doing? I just got the siren two days. All right, title of the video, when a fake cop tries to arrest a real cop. It For what purpose? came from Amazon. So that's the wrong person over who had a gun and who does not like police. And he gets out and starts shooting. Guess what? You have no way of defending yourself. On June 21st, 2021, an off-duty officer who was- If you watch the one I reposted in True Crime, I'll look at it afterwards. Driving home from work, noticed a Jeep flashing amber and white lights, speeding through Kenosha, Wisconsin. The officer noticed the Jeep pull up multiple cars with the lights activated and then turn on a siren. The Jeep would pull up behind the cars for a few seconds before driving off. As the off-duty officer attempted to get closer to the Jeep to write down the license plate number and peek at the driver, he found himself the victim of the driver's strange behavior. The Jeep got behind him and turned on the sirens only to speed off as the officer pulled over. The officer, who was still in uniform, followed the driver and motioned him to pull over and wait for the deputy officer to arrive. A sheriff's deputy arrived on the scene and noticed the off-duty officer standing with the 19-year-old suspect, Sam Sergei Knuth. What follows will make this one of the most bizarre cases I've ever seen. Uh, I'm on my way home and he's turning his strobe light on and he's got a siren. He curbs two cars and then blows past them, goes through a red, and then he's just using this little light bar on top here with these sirens. Okay then. Yeah. Dude, he looks exactly like the type of person that is like a, a bootlicker wannabe cop. <clears throat> Where he like fetishizes cops so bad. It's like, God, I want to be one so bad. I, I want to take control of people on the road. I want to beat up people for free. What's Just got it off Amazon. Are you trying to pull people over? No. Yo, thank you, Raconus Dudas. Yeah, I heard him all the way from 52. Yeah. And you try to curb two cars on 52nd Street and use lights and a siren so they pull over and stop. You pull up next to them and then you blow past them. I tried to on you. I'm down 52nd and I'm on my way home. Right. So we're going down 52 and then all of a sudden I see this white and yellow flashing light on top of the car. And I'm going along, and all of a sudden I notice this guy's like flying, and he's coming up behind cars and making a move over to the shoulder with the siren, and then they pull over and stop, and then does he, he would, stop behind him? Yeah, he would pause and stop, and then accelerate around him and take off with the the siren, and then he would race up behind the next car and make that. So is he just role playing right now? <clears throat> is that what he's doing? He bought a light from Amazon just to fucking troll people. He's just role playing. He's playing GTA RP right now. And pull over on the curb, and then same thing. He'd race around it. Okay. So then I'm trying to get up on the side. Trying to cut through traffic. Is that is that his whole dealio? I turn my radio on, and as I get up next to him, he slows down, pulls behind me, turns the siren on, and I move into the lane next to him, and then he blows past me. <clears throat> okay. So when he came up to a red light, I looked at him, and I'm like, So wait, is he an undercover cop? Is that what he was, or was it an actual cop? That'd be fucking hilarious if he was trying to fuck with an actual cop. He's like, oh yeah, he thinks I'm cool. I'm sure this cop will understand. He'll think I'm, he'll think I'm a cop. Pull over and stop, and then he takes off, and he ran two red lights. Okay. What red lights did he run? Uh, this one. So this one here for sure. And Coming then, northbound or? Uh, is it so impersonating a cop a felony? And then into the. I'm pretty sure it is. He made the left. And then uh, the other one that he ran was 104th and 52nd. Okay. At first, Sam denied pulling over anybody, but had a strange reason for the lights and siren. Is it Amazon recently? A siren? Why? I've already wanted one. For what purpose? The PA system. To do what? Talking to it, mostly. <laughs> That's the most smart ass answer ever. Yeah, I have a PA system. Why? So I could talk into it and people can hear it from the speakers really loudly? Like what a PA system does? <clears throat> what else would you do with it? And I didn't really know it had a siren. I was down with it. I did construction, landscaping. That's the light on the top. What's with the yellow and white bar? That's amber. Okay, That's so, for construction. so are you doing construction right now? No. So why do you have it on? Because I saw him behind me. Hazards on. So I, 
You got any weapons on you? No. Stand up for me. Turn around. Oh yeah, get that ass shot. If this shot. wasn't enough madness already, Sam had yet another strange reason for running through red lights. What's with the red lights? Why are the red lights? What red lights? This one, and then the one on 104th and 52nd oh, Street. I was like 200, 100 feet maybe before the red light, and... Did you have your siren on when you were going through the red light? Uh, I don't know. I, I had my horn on, I think. What horn? The little, like, uh -huh. The air horn? My brakes are shit this thing, and like, I can't really stop very good on it. His brakes just aren't good. He can't, he just can't stop at a red light. <clears throat> what red lights? Wait, oh, you know what would have been a better excuse? He's colorblind. That would have been such, such a good excuse. They totally would have bought it. Why'd you run the red light? Oh, that was red? I swore that was green. I am so sorry. So, it hit, red, it hit yellow before I was like able to like stop real quick. So, I just kind of like hit the air horn. And I don't know. I, I, was, I just got it today. So, it sounds like you tried to pull over three people. No, I, no. That's not what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that you got behind him, hit your light in your horn. <laughs> Dude, I, 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 I love stop, like. Stop, stop behind while he's talking, he's got like his arms crossed with one leg and his leg keeps like slipping the whole time. He's like, no, I'm just try trying to get into a cool pose here. Got to make sure I'm looking chillaxed. <laughs> he just keeps, you can even hear his shoe going. Ur -ur. Wait, go back. Let me, let me see this real quick. I'd pull over three people. No, I, no. That's not what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah, you hear that. Ur -ur. He's trying to be nonchalant, but he's in like the most awkward position and he can't hold himself. I'm hearing that you got behind him, hit your light and your horn, put him to the curb, <coughs> stop, stop behind him for several seconds, and then spit around him. No, I didn't that. That's not what I heard. No, I would never do that. He's just like like barely holding on his balance. Just, yeah, totally, man. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. So what are you? <clears throat> I just got the siren today. It For what purpose? It came from Amazon. He's got a whole light bar that's not rigged up. These strange reasons for his behavior only made the officers more suspicious of Sam. The officers alleged that Sam might have been trying to impersonate a cop, which is not only extremely stupid, but a very serious offense. I'm literally not trying to impersonate no one. Wait, why do you say that? You know when you're pulling people over with a light flashing, it is impersonating, right? I wasn't trying to impersonate no one, no. <clears throat> like, I'm not in uniform. I don't have a uniform. I don't have any firearms. He's like, I don't have a uniform yet. It's coming in the mail. I, I did order one online. It's going to be here soon. He, he sounds so disappointed by it. Yeah, I don't have the uniform yet. I don't have the guns. I, I, I really love you guys. I really honestly do. Oh! That makes it so much better. Confessing your love to the cops. God, I love you guys so much. You don't understand how much I love you. I would totally not impersonate you because I love you so much. What the hell are you talking That is probably the best thing he could have said. Because all impersonators hate cops. All impersonators hate cops. Yeah, they would never love a cop. God, I love you guys so much. God. Why can't I be you? <laughs> I want to be you. I'm not trying to impersonate no one. Person, impersonate no one. So what were you going to do with this other light bar that's in here? Um, that's the other thing. I was going to mount it. I just picked that up from my dad's house. It's from a racing lawnmower that I built for the high school. It used to go on the floor. Burn. A racing? Oh, <laughs> wait, what? A racing lawnmower? I'm a racing lawnmower that I built for the high school. A racing lawnmower? They used to go on the floor. They have those? It was, it's orange. <clears throat> what about these lights up here? They could be construed as, they look like they could strobe, and they're white. Um, those are white strobe lights. You understand where we're going with this, right? Right, I understand. It, I, I really fucked up. I totally get it. I well, what were you going to pull him over for? Just out of curiosity. I wasn't trying to pull anybody over. I just, I got it today. I so what were you to, following I, him for then? 
I was just driving. And I know what else. Where were you headed to? In a grove. I was just messing with the, uh, with the, the other poor, side. The poor, poor man's the NASCAR. <laughs> because I live in a residential area. Dude. I lived, I mean, I still kind of live. Nah, it's not, it's not as redneck, but boy, my uh, hometown is so fucking redneck. They have a fairground. They have like tractor poles and, uh, you know, like derbies and shit like that. Dude, it is, it is the most redneck shit ever. Like, dude, tractor poles always just like are baffling to me. Like the concept of it. <clears throat> Sand Dragon, thank you so much nice. for the tier one. Um, <clears throat> but it's just fucking alert because all they do is it's they just put a bunch of weight on a tractor and just and the tractor just goes just as loud as it fucking can and it it's so goddamn loud and it's just you know smoke billowing out of the thing. It's how far. And then the announcers on the bike for how far is he going to take it? Oh, Jesus, he's going. He's going a few feet. Oh, he's still going. Oh, he stopped. Oh, that's as far as. <laughs> Literally just seeing how far they could pull a buttload of weight. Oh, man, it's so fucking hilarious to watch. And then all these dudes, you know, like these rednecks with like drunk as fuck with their stag beers. They're like shitty natty lights and stuff like that. Hell yeah! Oh god. Yeah. Uh, the, like, I don't know. I should have. I don't know. I didn't know where I, where I could really play the thing. You, you understand? Okay, so not only is it something that's, I'm just gonna straight out say stupid. Right. You're not armed, right? No. What happens if you try? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not accusing you of anything right now, okay? But what would happen if you try to pull the wrong person over who had a gun? and who does not like police, and he gets out and starts shooting, guess what? You have no way of defending yourself. Community is community. The way you describe it is kind of sweet. Yeah, if you're also a redneck. If you're not a redneck, no. <laughs> it's not nice and sweet. If you're not a redneck and Christian, nah. No, nah, they don't give a fuck about you. They actively hate you. No, it is not a nice community. It's not a welcoming community. It is a gatekeeping, uh, shitty-ass community. <clears throat> Nevertheless, that this is a crime for you impersonating a police officer. You know that, right? I'm not trying to impersonate no one. Everything Redneck Christians exist, though? That's literally what I said. I said they. it is a redneck Christian community. Like, if you're not redneck and Christian or Christian or both, then you're not welcomed into that community. If you got long hair and you're a guy, you're not welcomed in that community. If you have colored hair and you're a guy like me, or I, how I was, you would not be welcomed to that community. You'd be shunned. You'd be made fun of. You'd be, uh, you know, it, 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 it's that shit. It's not, it's not a welcoming community. It's only welcoming to those people. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Thing that is occurring right now yeah. is guys I lived through it all right I know trust me that way <clears throat> it's not smart yeah. you're gonna end up getting yourself hurt over something stupid just because you want to play around after running a background check the officers find out that Sam is on probation for a conviction in 2020 for intimidating a victim and disorderly conduct but that's not all he was charged with four counts of fourth degree sexual assault yo which were all dismissed what is fourth degree sexual assault hold up there's a fourth degree what is that in there's that many degrees wait hold up I'm actually curious. What is fourth degree sexual assault? Any non-consensual contact not covered in the other classes, excluding intercourse, unwanted groping. <clears throat> that makes sense. That makes sense. He kind of looks like the type. Due to a plea agreement. <laughs> You're on probation for whatever. Oh yeah, is it the opposite? First degree is is the yeah yeah that's yeah. I was mixing it up. For cases. It's like golf. Degrees are like golf, right? The lower the score, the better you're doing. Or the the lower the score, the 
Yeah, fucking shut up. And I'm sitting here drawing attention. You should myself. literally be going, going to work, I'm going done. home, I'm and that's it. You shouldn't be going to any bars. You shouldn't be going right, okay. anywhere after Bro, whatever. To, to guys do stupid stuff all the time. We just had a guy yesterday. He was out on probation and whatever else, and the guy decides to go to the bar with his old lady, and yeah. guess what? Now he's going to go to prison for <laughs> three, four years because, you know, it's like, just stay at home. I get it. I mean, I get you have a life, and I get you're 19, but, you know. <laughs> He's only 19. <laughs> he, I mean, to be fair, he honestly looked older. I'm not going to lie. But the, that just makes it funny. Right, I get it, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, your decisions in the past, you know, brought you Thank you, Pork Chop, for the year. You just need to stay home, stay out of trouble. Right. Noticing his lame excuses aren't working for him, Sam eventually agrees that he was indeed trying to impersonate a cop. So here's what I think happened, okay? I think you got this new light today, and it's cool. You got a new light, you got a new siren, it's fun. Yeah. Then you realize you turn it on and people pull over for you like you're a cop. So you thought, hey, this is kind of fun. I'm going to pull behind him like a cop, because you like the cops, that's great. And then, well, maybe I probably shouldn't go far with this, but that was cool, and then kept going. This, this is what I talk about when I say fetishizing cops. This is a dude that fetishizes cops. He gets he gets rock hard thinking about being a cop or wanting to be a cop, you know? <clears throat> God, I, I want to be a cop so bad. He's probably, he probably is a hard on just getting pulled over talking to these guys, you know? Is that about right? Yeah. Yeah, why do you think he's covering his crotch right now? Oh my God. That's so true. That's so he's like full on hiding it. God, I hope they don't notice my boner. I hope they don't come over here and touch it. He's like he's just over there like just begging for a cavity search. It's like, God, please search me, daddy. Search <laughs> Search me, cop daddy, please. But I wasn't trying to be a cop. I like you guys. I really do. You guys are awesome, and you guys do good work. Even though I've been arrested, I have Cringe. never changed my view on you guys at all. But Thank you, Monroe. I was on the Gracie County Sheriff's Explorer post as a kid. Um, I've always, I've always dreamt to be. I don't know. You've always wanted to be a cop. Yeah. It just didn't work out for you. No. And it happens. Unfortunately, it some happens. people just doesn't work out. But <clears throat> tonight. You were trying to act like you were a cop a little bit. It's a boner right? smile. Right? It's not, you weren't, you weren't. He's got that boner grin right now. We're like, hey, I'm going to go full blown here. We're no, going to pull no, someone I'm... over, get him out of the car. And... Dude, I'm... I just think it's funny how, like, just his face and his mannerisms, he literally looks like he's talking to a celebrity. And these are just small town cops. <laughs> it's so funny. Right. But a little part of you, right. right? You're like, I have a light on, I have a siren. They pulled over for me. It's like I'm a cop right now, right? And unfortunately, one of those cars was a police car. And that's why we're here today. So you he's, essentially... Dude, he's geeking right now. Pulled over somebody he as a cop. He's geeking right now. But you're not a cop. Does that sound right? I mean, we understand what you're saying, that you're not getting out, you're not IDing people. Dude, he's, he's cheesing. You can't stop cars out here, man. I understand. Especially, you pull somebody over and they think you are a cop. You're not ready for that, are you? Somebody gets out of the car and comes after you, you're not trained for that, right? You're not ready for that, right? And then what happens? Somebody that doesn't like the cops and they think you are... Okay, the timing of that was really fucking good. <laughs> They don't like cops, and then what happens? <laughs> All right, that was that was perfect. Are a cop, but they get out and they come back after you. <clears throat> what do you think happens? That's what happens. Maybe get, get killed. Maybe. <clears throat> you never know. And that's the problem with people that are not cops acting like they are. You're not trained or prepared for it. See how that's a problem? Not to mention. In the past, there have been people who are trying to pretend they're cops for bad reasons. Right. You obviously tonight didn't do anything further than pull behind them like you're doing a traffic stop. But how do we know that 
in another mile, the next car you pull over, you're like, you know what? They think I'm a cop. I'm going to play this in all further. I'm going to go up and we don't know. We don't know you. You see how that's a problem? He Does has hearts sense? in his eyes. So you having a little bit of fun yeah, tonight just, with your new light and siren very well could have ended His hearts are beating out of his eyes or right now. Had we not stopped you, who knows what could have happened? We don't know. Could have been seriously hurt. Yeah. Correct. As the deputy officer warns Sam of the repercussions of his actions, Sam cannot stop smirking, thinking he can justify his creepy and dumb behavior. But from his previous- Nah, he's just horny for cops, man. He, he's not he's not smiling thinking he's getting away with it. He's smiling because he's geeking out about getting pulled over by charges. Cops. And the current incident, <clears throat> something tells me that his criminal career is just getting started. Now that he's played a cop, <laughs> it's time for Sam to play a prisoner. Am I under arrest or detained? I'm detained. You're detained. Yeah. Okay. He knows. Do you work in the morning? He knows. What time do you work in the morning? Seven. Seven. Alright. I gotta be at the shop at seven. What's up? I gotta be at the shop at seven. Okay. So I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm -hmm. We're calling your PO right now. And we're gonna let him know that you were using the siren. We're gonna let him know that you were at a bar. I let him know that you weren't drinking. <clears throat> These girls, that you've been cooperative. Mm -hmm. um, but we're also gonna do a summons. As of right now, it's just gonna be a summons for a first aid police officer. Which means? It's a misdemeanor. Okay. Your PO, I don't know what your is gonna do, if he's gonna wanna hold you or not, that's up to him. But I'm being honest with you. Because you He's gonna explode property. when they put him in the back okay. seat. <clears throat> Handcuff yep. me, Daddy. So let's just have a seat back on the bumper. Once we get back, we'll let you know, okay? Get for it. So they decided they're gonna hold you. Look at him. Dude, he was so excited about getting handcuffed right there. He just instantly like, yes, please. Put him on me. Just poof. Poof. Yes. Take me, daddy. Take me. Take me into your big arms. Those big, soft, liberal arms. You want my gun? Come and kiss me for it. As a lover of He's cops, getting a misdemeanor. Sam really hit the jackpot. He got to talk to a bunch of them, ride in their car, and even got an extended tour of the police facility. It was only his bad luck that this fake cop managed to run into a real cop and got caught. Can you have a seat at that brown chair? <laughs> oh no, officer, did I do something wrong? <laughs> <clears throat> have I been a bad boy, officer? Oh no, don't shove me against the wall. <laughs> Straight ahead of that silver desk. Right? <clears throat> Finally, Sam was detained and charged with impersonating a police officer, a misdemeanor. He was cited for violation of a red traffic light and unlawful siren or horn. Sam was given a $2,500 signature bond and was held in Kenosha County Jail on a probation hold. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one and don't forget to subscribe. No! I will never subscribe to someone who tells me to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe, guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe to me. I mean, you can subscribe to this guy too. What's his name? Detective Williams. But also make sure to subscribe to me. Now it's time to walk away. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribe? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views, please.